Hey guys, what's up? First album of 2020 that I'm reviewing, actually. And what better than um, Haley Williams of Paramore. First debut album, which I was extremely um, anticipating, super excited for, um, just to see what she could do solo. She slowly was kind of churning the album out with um, three parts, three EPs, and she wanted to do that to kind of reflect the different topics being shown so that people could understand the album better. She wanted to have the Paramore family involved and so she has Joey, the like touring bassist of Paramore, doing all of the bass work on this album and he's so talented on this record and Taylor as well, who is the guitarist of Paramore, um, did some of the guitars on this record, wrote some of the songs I believe and also produced the whole record. And Zach Farrow, who's on drums on Paramore, did some drums on a couple songs on here, and then I also believe he did some of the music videos for the songs, filmed some of the music videos, and I think directed them as well. And the music videos that they have for these songs are amazing. Whenever she was releasing a new song, she would credit the people in it, and I think that's so important how she brought her family and friends involved into this project. I should talk about this album track by track. Um, to give you guys kind of a full understanding. Get the first track, Simmer, was, which was also the first song released. And this song is just very intense, a brooding track. It feels very dark at times too, but I feel like the title Simmer really relates to the mood in this song because it does simmer a little bit and there's times where it does pick up and you really feel some intensity in the song but it doesn't necessarily get super up there to the point where it's like too much. Um, she talks about the topic of rage and how she feels when she's holding all of these emotions inside and how difficult it is and how she needs to kind of bring herself back and simmer down so to speak and I really think that the, the lyrics really go well with the musical instrumentation and how the song is dynamically. So where she says the title of the album, Pedals for Armor, and that kind of opens things up about what Pedals for Armor means. And I feel like as you get more into each song, you kind of start to find out what Pedals for Armor is to Haley. I really enjoyed the light drums and guitar on this track. I feel like the music is kind of more on the back burner and it focuses more on the unique melody Haley has in this song and her amazing vocals just being a lot more calm but yet intense. The next track also is in the same kind of sonic vein um, and that's Leave It Alone. This song from the get-go feels very Radiohead inspired, especially in the chorus and bridge parts. I truly feel that. Um, this is one of my favorites, favorite lyrics on the album and probably one of my favorite songs on this record. Um, I love the Radiohead inspiration because, I, again, I think it relates to that, that very eerie, creepy, yet and haunting, yet calm um, energy that you get when you hear the song. It talks about the loss of her grandmother, her grandmother not remembering who Haley is and dealing with loss and death. Love the instrumentation. Very quiet, minimalistic, very light shuffling drum patterns um, in here and the bass sounds really great with the light guitars as well. Very intricate, atmospheric. Next we shift a little bit sonically in how this album sounds, you know, stylistically with the music with Cinnamon. Cinnamon is a lot more upbeat. It kind of takes a while to get there, but once that chorus hits, it has this dancey groove about it. Very funky bass work. Um, there's some really interesting um, drum patterns on this. And this song talks about Haley embracing her femininity and what she does at home. And this song's very interesting and really never has shown a side of Haley before. This is like the first time I feel like we've really seen a song with like this type of lyrical content um, written. Creeping, this song is very boomy, very bass heavy, has a ton of like vocal manipulation in it, but I think it really works to Haley's advantage to give off this really creepy effect. Uh, the lyrics of the song where Haley's talking about feeling like a vampire and using all these metaphors of vampires and kind of like relating that to herself, it's a super interesting song lyrically. Again, something I feel like we have not heard Haley ever really talk about, but the song is just so fun and unique and really weird in a way, but I personally love it. Next we have another one of the standout tracks for me, which is Sudden Desire, um, and this song talks about lusting after somebody and trying to hold back from them, but at the same time you have this urge to, you know, get a little 
touchy touchy with the person and um it definitely like shows in this song and Haley shows off more of her harsher vocal range um kind of what you hear from paramore where it's really out there and like in the chorus when she's saying sudden desire it's like ah oh, it just kind of gives you that like really nice like intense moment where she's like wanting something so bad and she's really showing it um, with how her vocals sound. And I think dynamically from the pre-chorus to the chorus of this song, it just sounds so great shifting and transitioning into one another. Where the chorus is extremely simple, but it's so effective. Next track we get is Dead Horse, and this one is very 80s inspired pop. And it talks about a very serious topic of Haley's divorce and her past relationship with her ex and how she felt like she was in that relationship too long. And it's also funny too, because when you dive into the lyrics a little bit more, the silly little song she's talking about is the song The Only Exception, which was written about um, her husband at the time, who is now her ex. This song has a super catchy chorus. Um, it's just really fun, irresistible. It, it gets stuck in your head after one listen. Very bubbly, very cheery song. Um, super nice like dance grooves to it. Turning down a few notches with uh, My Friend. This song definitely has a melancholy sound to it and it's a little bit more like softer. Um, it still has an 80s sound to it in a way by how the uh, percussion is but with like a lo-fi twist to it. And the lyrics actually talk about something very positive. Um, talks about one of Haley's best friends who's always been there for her and they understand each other so well and it's so interesting how such a positive song has more of this sadder uh, sound musically. Next is Over Yet. Um, this track is super fun. Really the first time you see kind of more of a, a punk rhythmic beat and it's extremely consistent but yet the song is incredibly lush at the same time. Bass has a really good groove to it, super funky, super dancey, and the song is all about empowerment and kind of trying to stand tall as you're going through all of these difficult situations. Really good feel good song and it works so well with the way it is sonically. And this is really one of the first positive uh, moments on the album which you kind of start to see more of a, a pivotal change in Haley. I feel like after this mark you kind of see her becoming a little bit more happy and a little bit more like comfortable in her own skin. Roses, Lotus, Violet, Iris is one of my favorite songs on this album too. It features uh, the supergroup Boy Genius who I love. Um, my only gripe about their feature in this, I wish they had a little bit more to it besides just kind of adding their harmonies in at the chorus and stuff. Um, but I still feel like they do really make this song stand out. It goes back to the topic again of femininity and kind of describe using like metaphors of different kinds of flowers to describe women and their own uniqueness and I think that's really special and some just the way like this song is written is absolutely beautiful and it goes so well with the vocal harmonies here between Haley and Boy Genius. I also love the addition of the string section, making this song feel very delicate as well. Next we have Why We Ever, another standout track for me with a really cool groove to it, but yet it's a ballad. I think this song really showcases some phenomenal mixing and production that Taylor has, really showing off his skills. Um, dubbing Haley's vocals and just the way they're used, it sounds awesome. Um, I love the softness in her voice and it goes down smoothly with the rest of the instrumental and I love how you see kind of more of a dynamic shift towards the end of the song when it's just got that moody uh, keyboard and Haley and she's kind of singing a little bit more melancholy as she's kind of like reflecting on herself and this song just packages a lot of uh, like different styles dynamically together that work starting out super catchy and fun and then kind of ending on more of a slow like no your love is the next track on here which is very again very fun dancey song kind of gives me after laughter vibes in a sense um during some parts of the chorus i think the song gives off really strong R&B vibes with very bright keys using vocals that soar. Vocally, I think this song is a great mix of Haley showing off her softer side and more of her 
harsher vocal side and her more gritty side. I think it does a great job of uh, showcasing both. And the lyrics also shine on this where she's talking about opening up to a healthy relationship and trying not to worry about um, getting hurt. The next track, Taken, kind of furthers that more in the uh, lyrical department where she's talking about how she's with someone and I just feel like the lyrics on this are very straightforward, which isn't a bad thing. I think the guitar riffs alongside with the bass are really good, but this song isn't as memorable to me as some of the others, but it's still a an overall good song. Next track is Sugar on the Rim, which you could say is probably one of the most experimental tracks on this album, just kind of with that Sugar on the Rim um, repetition, and it's got this very unique like drum machine beat to it. It's very like dancey and fun and almost has like this new wave sound to it, like late 80s, new wave, um, early 90s. It's really fun, and the song talks about um, how someone feels like sugar on the rim. You're talking about a relationship that feels so good, and you're so happy in it. The lyrics fit that really thumpy, fun instrumental. Watch Me While I Bloom um, is a really interesting track. I feel like there's parts of it that are a little random in a sense, like the first verse a cappella in a way with Haley's vocals. They're very harsh, have like this very hardcore like Paramore vibe to those vocals. And then when you go right into the chorus and the rest of the song, it's just so different than that first part. But I don't know, I feel like it, it kind of fits in a way too. Um, with what she's talking about and she's talking about like her past and how she's turning into a different person and also again using the metaphor of like flowers where, like she talked about in the other song and how she's blooming into this new person so like watch me at, in this new stage of my life. I feel like the chorus is very dancey, very fun to get stuck in your head with, really easy to sing along to. Um, overall though, an enjoyable song. Like they said, there's some parts of it I'm not really sure about, but I think overall I really like this one. Lastly on the record we have the closing song, Crystal Clear, which I think pretty much closes this album out on a really reflective and um, positive note as far as lyrically where Haley's talking about not letting things holding her back and having more of a open mind, a more crystal clear mind um, as she moves forward from all of the um, bad things that have happened in her life um, and takes what's good and uh, runs with it. I really enjoy the uh, soft R&B tones found in the beat and the production. Haley's angelic voice matches seamlessly to that. Um, I really love how just simple the chorus is, echoey, atmospheric, it's on water too. Here she's talking about crystal clear water, um, and there's other songs throughout this album too where she's talking about drowning and just different um, imagery with water, uh, which is interesting. Her grandfather was actually a part of the song as well. Um, there's a sample from his own song that is sampled in the outro and then it just kind of like fades out um, with her grandfather and I just think it ends it on such a personal note and it's so awesome that she got to put her grandfather on this album like as a part of it. Even though it focuses on various topics, um, it does so in a really um, great way on each song. I think Haley portrays the situations, how she's feeling really effectively. Um, the writing's really great. Sonically it has a lot of changes, a lot of ups and downs in it, tempo changes and style changes. And that, you know, her life is a roller coaster and there's ups and the downs. Um, and kind of like how it reflects in the music as well as the lyrics, um, it definitely reflects that. Um, I also think Joey's bass work on the song is amazing. It's really right at the forefront than more of a back burner. Um, and I feel like for 15 tracks the album doesn't really overstay its welcome too much for me. And this album clocks in at almost an hour. Really doesn't feel like it. I feel like Haley has shown us on this record how she can sing behind several different styles and she shows her more softer side on this record and again more of that like hard exterior that we find on Paramore. You get a little bit of it here but mostly um, Haley's really uh, trying new things. Overall my score for this album would be a 9.5 
out of 10. Um, wasn't perfect by any means, but it was it was pretty damn close. I find out my favorite songs. They're down in the description. Uh, comment me below, below and let me know your favorite songs off the album, how you felt about it, um, what you think. Um, we can get a conversation going. Also, check out my social media sites. So, um, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll definitely do more um, music-related videos in the future. Stay brutal, guys. Stay tuned for more videos, and see yeah. you later.